when we create graphical elements inside of our storyboards, we want to be able to position them both relative to the view and relative to other elements. And this is one of the great features inside of storyboards that I'm going to show you in this lecture. So open your project and follow along. With your main storyboard open, I'm just going to zoom out a little here and scroll up so we can see what's going on. And I'm going to click and drag my button to the center. And you'll notice that I or Xcode comes up with these bars that implies that it sits at the center currently. Now, what happens if we run this on the iPhone SE? Well, we kind of know what's going to happen, I think. I think this button should actually sit somewhere in the center. And it doesn't. What happens if I rotate my device? Goodbye button. It's still there, but it's at the bottom of the screen out of our view. So this, of course, is a problem. And it's where constraints come in to our storyboards. We want to tell our storyboard a couple of rules that it's going to abide by when it comes to positioning this button. Now, ideally, I want it to sit in the center. So I'm just going to zoom in so we can see a little clearer. We have our button. If we select the button, notice that down in the bottom right corner in our viewport, we have a couple of icons, stack, align, pin, and resolve auto layout issues. Let's hit the pin and also let's hit the other one. What we're going to do is select these options where we can align it horizontally in the container and vertically in the container. And what that's going to do is whatever device it's running on, it's going to measure the screen size both vertically and horizontally and then place the middle of our button in the middle of that particular screen. So when we hit add to constraints, it comes up with two blue lines. And if we click with these blue lines and then look over on the right hand side, the top right, it tells us we have a constraint. And it's taking our button center, making it equal to the center of the super view. The super view is simply the view that we can see in our current app. We can change a constant, so we can offset this by let's say 20 screen points or zero to have it dead center. We can give it a priority and a multiplier. These are more complex topics we don't need to know right now. And of course the same with our horizontal one there, which is actually the one referencing Y. So now we have our button in the center. I can hit play again and this will compile it, shove it into our iPhone SE and our button should be dead center. And it, that should be the case even if we rotate it. So if you hit command and the side arrow, we get our button always in the center. And that's one of the great things about storyboards. It takes care of all of this rotation business for us. Now we can add rules to our app to change how it lays out whenever we rotate it. We can even remove rotation from the equation if we wish. So that is how we constrain things inside of storyboards.